Hello guys, welcome to The Train Parrot. I get asked these two questions very often. Number one is which exchange should I be using for trading with bots? And right after I answer that question, people tell me, well, that exchange is not allowed in my country. I cannot use it. It's not available. In this video, we're not just going to cover which exchanges are compatible with which bot platforms, but also we're going to review the option of using a digital identity to get access to those exchanges using KYC. Many people I know are currently using this alternative not just to get access to those exchanges, but also to unlock all the products that are available in that exchange, starting with being able to connect the exchange with a bot platform. Getting a digital identity nowadays has become really easy. In this video, I'm going to show you that in just about a month, you can get car delivered to your home address for less than $300. None of this information is financial advice. I do not advise you to do this. I'm presenting the compatibility exchanges versus the different bot platforms and which exchanges are currently supporting digital identity. Guys, if this is the kind of content that you like to watch, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload one of these videos and do two things to really support this channel. Number one, watch this video until the very end and leave a comment down below with your opinion on whether you think using digital identity to get KYC in exchanges is something that you may want to consider. Let's start with the support of exchanges versus the different bot platforms. Just bear in mind that there will be some exchanges that are missing. Some bot platforms like Old Brady on Free Commas support an extensive number of exchanges, but I didn't include them here necessarily because some of them I couldn't confirm if they will be compatible with digital identity. Starting with FreeCommerce and Alt-Ready are the bot platforms that support the most exchanges. Week Hunter does a great job here because it's the first one to support a decentralized exchange, in this case Apex, where you can still do futures as well. Genium is starting to support an increasing number of exchanges, which is great. And then you have here some hybrids because these are exchanges, but they do support their own internal bot trading platform. You can do grid bots, you can do DCA bots, signal bots, and the same stands for OKX. If you check the description, you're going to find discount for pretty much all the products that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. Discounts in fees for OKX, Bybit, Binance, FreeCommerce, Pionex, and don't forget that Week Hunter, I have links to use it for free as well. We have a partnership, but what's the point of having so many alternatives if in fact you're not able to open an account with KYC wherever you live? And that's where it comes really handy getting a digital identity. I have to say, I haven't got one my Myself, but many people have already received one and managed to open an account on different exchanges. And thanks to that, I'm being able to confirm from what they are telling me that they manage not just to get KYC, but now they have access to all the products in the exchange, including staking, API connection to the bot platforms, and they are currently trading with bots. Let me first cover how does it work, how much it costs, how long it takes, and finally, I will show you which exchanges that are compatible with bots and futures. I'm fully aware that they do work getting the Palau ID. The website of Palau is claiming that Vitalik Buterin got his own digital identity. Entity. They show it as well in their website. When you get one of these cards, you get Palau Digital Residency. You get a physical card that's delivered to your home address. They can, they can ship globally. You get a legal DID and 24-7 support. The cost per year of the trial, which is just one year, is $248. So I guess as long as you're expecting to make more returns from this potential coming bull market, this might be worth having a look. I'm also going to cover some downsides and some things that I found in some forums of people getting concerned about this solution. So it's not just all pink color. If you're curious and you want to get 
a longer lasting digital identity, you can get five years for over a thousand dollars or 10 years for just about two thousand dollars. In the roadmap, it shows that they're planning to support utilities and digital banking. This might be a great alternative because it might mean that you could also do deposits and withdraw funds within Palau and the exchanges. I don't know much detail, but it's also mentioned that you might be able to get e-corporations with 0% tax, which might be attractive to many people as well. For the payment of the package that you decide to go with, you can pay in crypto as well. Here are mentioned some of the different networks that you can use to pay. You can pay with a wallet. And if you want to start accumulating RNS points and support our channel as well, you can use this QR code on the screen or this link that I'm going to leave in the description to sign up and start the process of applying for the digital identity. Remember that it takes about 28 days. So if you started around now, you might get the digital identity right before the halving of Bitcoin, which might be good timing to be able to set up exchanges as well and get them all sorted. One of the concerns that I found trying to research for some potential downsides of using this solution, of course, this will depend on where you live. In particular, people from US seem to be a bit worried about the US security clearance. So let's go back to the table now. And as you can see in this summer, Summary, Binance is not supported for the digital identity and the reason is because they are still asking for an actual passport. With the digital identity you don't get citizenship therefore you won't be able to pass the KYC on Binance. Luckily you can still apply for KYC on OKX, BitGet, Bybit, of course Apex doesn't require KYC because it's decentralized so I still mark it with yes you can do the same with Finandi, Kraken, and Pionex. Those are the ones that have been reported by people I know mentioning that it actually works. And not just that you can open the account, but all the products in the account of that exchange immediately start working, including staking and connection to APIs. So you can finally trade with bots using futures and spot. By the time I'm recording this video, I wasn't able to confirm whether Combase, Bitfinex, Bitstamp, and Gemini accept the Palau Digital Residency. If you happen to know whether this works for you, make sure you leave a comment down below because it will be great for other users to know as well which ones work. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found this information useful. And remember, if you're considering to apply for a digital identity, please consider supporting the channel by signing up and applying using the link in the description. That's going to be beneficial for both of us. So I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.